Hi folks, um, we're carrying on our drive along the N2 from Chavez towards Porto today. <coughs> That's not the direction we're going at the end of the day. We're going to be moving um, southwards away from Porto, but we're still on it at the moment. Somebody told me yesterday that apparently this drive is one of the world's 10 most beautiful drives or something. And we can totally believe it because the Douro Valley is just incredible. It's um, not for the faint-hearted, as you can see in some bits. There's not much of a wall here and quite a drop down. Not exactly a, a safety wall for a three and a half ton motorhome. Um, but I am the faint-hearted. I don't like heights. <laughs> so this is uh, quite challenging for me. I don't mind when so much when we're on the other side of the road, but I don't like it when we're on this side of the road. That changes depending as you go around valleys and things. Sometimes you're all right. Yesterday we were mostly on the, the side of the road away from the drop. And today so far we're on the drop side, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, look at that. It's amazing how um, being in the most incredible, beautiful scenery, just, you know, the, that, that takes precedent over everything. You can feel scared for a moment and then you're just back to going, wow, wow, look at that, look at that. And, and you're looking out, not looking down, because it's, it's just so beautiful. I'm gonna do a little zoom in here, see if we can get a closer look at stuff. And that's out of that bit of valley. We cut across sometimes, come away from the drops and go through bits like this and then we come back to the, the drops again. And it just keeps being like this, doesn't it? It just keeps mm -hmm. going on and on. It'd be amazing to film the whole thing and then time lapse it, but it's hours of driving. <laughs> it would uh a bit of doing to do that. I don't even know if this could even possibly give it justice. If we zoom in too far we just get the trees at the side of the road. But it's all the, the terraces and, and vineyards. Mm -hmm. Just a wine wine <laughs> wine plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah know where I'm coming from. I keep calling grapes wine plants. It's a little bit of female over 50 brain fuzz and a little bit of really liking wine and we had a little bit of wine last night too <laughs> there we go we're through that that little bit of a uh, no drop and back out Ooh. back out to the river down below is again. Look at that. Just incredible. And I said this is it just keeps going. And you get have these triangular hills and with the, the terraces all up and down them. And the permanently twisty windy roads. Going around all the, the beautiful hillsides. Look at it. Lovely. We could buy that house, Jay. Look, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice fix me up. Don't think we could get a camper stop here, though. Mm. So I'm just sticking with the road now so you can see what it's like looking forwards as we drive is what Jay's seeing. I don't know how he manages to, to focus on the road. Obviously it's very difficult not to because it's uh, very twisty windy but with the amazing views. But luckily, you know, because the road keeps, because of the hairpins, you get to see more than if you're just driving along a straight road, don't you? Yeah. When you're driving, you go around a corner and you're like, oops. The road's gone. Oh, 
<laughs> for the road. Mm. Yeah, let's hope it stays that way. It's quite quite handy when it's still here, isn't it? It's um it's so hot that we were thinking we wouldn't be driving much because it's hot. It's so hot. But up here, I mean, as as you can see, we're reasonably high up and above a river valley, so there's a bit of a cooling breeze. So driving is actually quite nice. It's uh it's probably only about 30 degrees in the when we're driving it. <laughs> it's no, it's a bit cooler than that. It's it's pleasant enough driving, it's not it's just as soon as you stop, isn't it? Stop moving, mm -hmm. stop getting the breeze through. Um we don't have cab air con so we just have windows open. I think when we come around this next bend I will go and if you've not been here and you're a fan of incredibly beautiful drives and places then come to the Douro, drive the N2 from Porto to Chavez or Villarreal, I'm not sure where it actually starts, maybe Villarreal. Um, um, yeah, because it was around about Villarreal it started, wasn't it? So Villarreal down to uh, down to Porto, and you can also get boats. The here that we stayed at last night, they have um, cruises that run up and down to Porto from there. Uh, a nice little an air with electric. That's only three euros a night with a pool. Mm -hmm. And a cafe next door. Five euros for the pool if you're not a resident. Um, Whee! Two fifty for kids, so under under fives go free. Yep, under fives go free. And there we go. That's it. Oh no! Here comes the bus. <laughs> I know that was handy. We have priority, apparently. Ah, uh, he's going, you've got loads of room. <laughs> oh no, it's no overtaking, sorry. I thought I saw a priority yeah. sign. Right, that's it. I'm going to go, I'm just going to sit here and witter all day. So we hope you have enjoyed my wittery tour of the N2 along the, the Duro Valley. And it's goodbye from me. Well, it's goodbye from him. <laughs> Bye, folks. Bye-bye.